Right, so that system's going into testing this week uh, on the uh, Isle of Wight, um, and then uh, later in the month, um, that app will be uh, rolled out and deployed, assuming the tests are successful, of course, um, to the population uh, at large. And the idea is that um, we will encourage as many people to take this up as possible. This is going to be a huge national effort. We need for this to work 50, 60% of people to be using this app. Not everybody has a smartphone. I appreciate it for various reasons. Not everybody will download it, but it will be the best possible way to help the NHS. In fact, it will be an NHS um, app. It will be completely confidential. The information uh, doesn't stay uh, on there. You, you don't know who the individuals are, but what it would do is alert people if they've been near somebody who later uh, is um, diagnosed as having coronavirus. Um, this is a fantastic uh, automated part of the, of the tracking uh, part of the puzzle. And now we have the testing capacity uh, of over 100,000 tests. As you mentioned, that will continue to rise. Um, this is a fantastic way to ensure that we are able to really keep a lid on this uh, going forward and we don't get that second wave. So um, I think it's one of the most exciting um, developments. Um, and I think, you know, on a Thursday night when people are going out and clapping in future, the ability to do something else uh, of use, which will be to download that app in future, uh, will be a great way to support the NHS.